hi guys welcome to my channel in this video i'll be showing you this liquid gold orange makeup look i hope you like this look So for my primer, I'm using the Faces Ultime Pro Primer all over my face. Also first I'll be doing some color correcting and for that I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal Shade in Orange. This will cancel out the darkness and avoid my face from looking ashy. So I'm applying the product around my eyes, my nose, my mouth and wherever I have darkness and blending it with the makeup sponge next I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal concealer in the shade pure beige all over the parts where I apply the corrector again blending it with the damp makeup sponge For foundation, I'm using MAC Studio Fix Foundation in the shade NC37. This is the first time I'm using this foundation and I'm seriously in love with it. It's high coverage but yet looks quite natural if applied correctly. Dotting the product all over my face and blending it with a damp sponge. Now I'm setting the eyes, nose, forehead and chin with the Ben Nye Banana Powder. For setting the rest of my face, I'm using the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in the shade Medium Dark. This powder has no shine or no shimmer and is absolutely natural. For my brows, I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Dark Brown. I'm again applying a little bit of banana powder under my eyes. This will help in brightening the eye area more. It's called the baking method. For contouring, I'm using the NARS Laguna Bronzer. Applying it in the hollows of my cheeks, my forehead, sides of my nose and jawline. Let's start with the eyes now. First I'm using a Kryland Rose Gold Cream Base all over my lid. You can use any eye primer or even a neutral eye base for this. I'm using the Saharan Palette from Juvia's Place to create this eye look. This is such an amazing palette. First I'm taking this matte warm orange beige color all over my eye base. Taking the same shade again in the blending brush, I'm adding this color heavily on my crease as a transition shade.
Now I'm taking this bright reddish orange shade and deepening my crease. Make sure you blend well as blending is the key to getting a perfect diffused eye look. Also taking a small brush, I'm adding same color on my lower lash line. Blending everything with a large blending brush. Next, I'm wetting my flat brush with Fix Plus and picking up this beautiful liquid green gold kind of shade. This shade is seriously stunning. It actually applies like liquid gold and it's super pigmented. I'm patting this color all over my lid. Next, I'm picking up the same orange red shade and blending the edge of the gold color applied. Now I'm taking the brown eyeliner from Rimmel and applying it on my lower waterline. Now taking the same green gold color on a small brush, I'm applying it to the one third of my lower lash line, leaving the outer ends bare. Also highlighting the inner corners and merging the top and the lower color at the tear duct part. Now to deepen the outer corners, I'm picking up this moss green shade and applying it in a V shape at the outer edges on the upper lid and also on the outer part of the lower lash line, merging the top and the lower color at the outer V. Now taking this brighter reddish pink shade on a blending brush, I'm deepening my crease again and applying the same on my lower lash line to create a orangey halo around my outer edges. Next I'm applying a very thin line of the black Lacme eyeliner on the upper lash line. Blending away the powder we had applied. Also, I applied some falsies off camera, and this completes the eye look. For my blush, I'm using matte blush in the shade Peachy Keen. Here I'm deepening my contour a little bit more. For highlighting, I'm using LA Girl 
stroke powder in 50 watts. For lips, I am first priming them with a pack primer and then applying this warm caramel shade from the Retro Matte collection from Pack in the shade 08. Also adding a little bit of number 11 only on the outer edges and blending it with my fingers. Finally setting my entire face with Max Fix Plus. So this completes the entire look. If you like this look, please give this video a thumbs up. And also do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching this video. Until next time, stay beautiful and timeless.